For eight years, Joe Biden was sniffing women and girls as vice president of the United States of America. And I didn't say a word. Why? Because when he wasn't busy sniffing some girl's hair, he was busy keeping his mouth shut. Keeping your mouth shut is a vice president's most important job, so I left him alone. But now Joe Biden is running for president, and he wants the Muslim vote. So he comes out of nowhere and says that he wants Islam taught in public schools. Many people think that Joe Biden is simply pandering to the religious sensitivities of Muslims here. But what if there's a more important reason Joe Biden wants to teach your kids about Islam? Let's see what Joe Biden said, and then we'll see if we can figure out the real reason he said it. One of the things I think is important, I wish, I wish we taught more in our schools about the Islamic faith. I wish we talked about all the great confessional faiths. It's one of the great confessional faiths. And what people don't realize is one of my avocation is theology, don't realize is that we, we all come from the same root here in terms of our fundamental basic beliefs. So to be fair, Joe Biden didn't say that kids should only learn about Islam. He said that they should learn about all of the confessional faiths, not just Islam, but also Judaism and Christianity. Now, the obvious question that arises here is, who gets to put together the Islam curriculum? If students were going to be given accurate information about Islam, I'd be all for it. Most of my subscribers would be thrilled if students were taught the truth about Muhammad. It would make our job a lot easier. And yet Muslims cheered when Joe Biden said that kids should be taught Islam. They praised Joe Biden for saying that kids should learn about Islam. Why? Muslims are terrified of people learning basic facts about Muhammad. No group in history has done more to keep the world in a state of ignorance about their founder than the Muslim community. Why would Muslims suddenly be happy about kids being taught Islam? They're happy because they know that if schools start teaching kids about Islam, under no circumstances will those kids be given accurate information about Islam. They'll be given a whitewashed, watered-down Walt Disney version of Islam. Muslims know that. If public schools start teaching kids about Islam, will these kids learn that Muhammad had sex with a prepubescent nine-year-old girl? Of course not. Will kids learn about Muhammad marrying the divorced wife of his own adopted son after causing the divorce by lusting after her? Not a chance. Will kids learn about Muhammad having sex with his slave girls? Will kids learn that Muhammad allowed his followers to rape their female captives? Will kids learn that Muhammad bought, owned, sold, and traded black African slaves? Will kids learn that Muhammad tortured a man for money? Will kids learn that the Quran allows Muslim men to beat their wives into submission? Will kids learn that, according to Islam, a woman's testimony is only half as reliable as a man's testimony because women are, by nature, stupid and immoral? Will kids learn that Muhammad ordered his followers to execute anyone who leaves Islam? Will kids learn that Muhammad called for the violent subjugation of the entire world? No, 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 no. Kids won't learn any of this because the curriculum will be put together by groups like CARE and kids will get nothing but lies. Kids will be told that Muhammad freed all slaves and that Muhammad liberated women and that the Quran promotes science and that Islam produced an interfaith paradise until Christians came and ruined everything. Complete, utter, total nonsense. But that's what kids would be taught. Muslims know this, and that's why they cheer when a politician talks about teaching Islam in public schools. So, we know why Muslims would want kids to learn about Islam, but why would Joe Biden want kids to learn about Islam? Is he just pandering here? Maybe not. Maybe Joe Biden has put together his final coherent thought, because this actually makes perfect sense. They call him Creepy Joe. But he only seems creepy because we compare him with normal people. If we compare him with someone like Caligula, Creepy Joe doesn't seem so creepy. 
Joe Biden's creepiness is directly proportional to the normality of the person we're comparing him with. The more normal the person is, the creepier Joe Biden looks by comparison. So what if we compare Joe Biden with someone who's way, way creepier? What if kids were taught about the creepiest leader of all time, the Prophet Muhammad? Do you have any idea how creepy Muhammad was? Muhammad would have sex with nine women and girls in a single night, but only take one bath. He would walk around covered in semen, and we don't even know where it came from. He used to suck on the tongues of little boys. He told his followers to lick each other's fingers. He put his male followers on a grooming schedule and told them when to shave their pubes and when to pluck their armpit hairs. He made them squat while peeing. He told them how many stones they had to wipe themselves with after going to the bathroom. His followers would drink his blood and rub his saliva on themselves. Muhammad was the single creepiest dude in history. Maybe Joe Biden knows that if kids learn about Muhammad, Uncle Joe the super sniffer won't seem so creepy by comparison. Compared to Muhammad, Joe Biden is a saint. So if kids are taught the truth about Islam, they won't call him Creepy Joe. They'll call him Honorable Joe, Righteous Joe, Noble Joe, Ethical Joe. You can put anyone side by side with Muhammad and that other person will suddenly seem like a pillar of virtue. Maybe Joe Biden knows that, and he thinks that he can protect his legacy and make himself look better by comparing himself with Muhammad. Or maybe he's just another garbage politician making empty promises in order to score some extra votes. If so, he could have kept it short and said, look, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't a Muslim. That approach has worked out well for him in the past. If you missed my video about Joe Biden accidentally calling for jihad against America, be sure to check it out. After that, check out my video about Biden condemning Muhammad. Put those together and you'll realize that Jihad Joe says whatever is most convenient for whatever audience is in front of him.